Welcome to Guns and Chicken Strips. I'm your host, James. What's happening? Today, we are headed back down south to do some more shootsin'. I had a surprise guest, but he bailed, so it'll just have to wait till another time. So we are just cruising down here. Join us some Chicken Express action. Mm -mm, baby! Man, this stuff is good. And I've already, rev already reviewed Chicken Express twice, so we're not gonna review it. I just got an insane craving for it after shooting yesterday because the guys were all asking me why I do what I do and how I do what I do and it started making me crave it. I don't know. So we're just gonna enjoy this awesome Chicken Express. Head down here and do some shit and shoot and you guys that were telling me that I need to make it to where it gives some deflection will be happy to see that I listened to you and I had some carriage bolts in the garage and I got it, see? Got it hooked up. Now it's got a little bit of an angle to it. Beautiful, quick detach carabiners up there. Isn't it nice looking? Looks good. So we're gonna do some warm up with some plinking, some 45s. I'm formally challenging these dudes to a shoot off, AKA Mr. Bradley and Ethan. We're gonna see what happens when I take them down. At right, first, we're gonna shoot my Kimber. You all hadn't seen a shot before. It's beautiful, look at it, enjoy. I love this thing. This is gonna be first, just do some plinking. Well, I just got hit right here, so no bueno, senor. So we're Dunsky right now. We've already learned a lesson today. No matter what, the thing about it is, the first time when me and Bradley were shooting it, we shot about 200 rounds into it. From closer than this, not one time did we get hit with a ricochet. Maybe got a little bit of a ricochet, like shrapnel that came down from the air, but nothing like that. That was my third shot, and I got hit with this. Right in the booby, right there. Man, that stung so bad. I don't know what the deal with that was. Lesson learned, do not try that at home. We're gonna move back and do some distance pistol shooting at it. So now we're at about 50 yards. We're gonna do a little bit of a uh, competition to see who can actually hit it or not. I think I can hit it. I bet they can hit it. We'll see. And we'll continually move back until the last man standing. Baby Desert Eagle in nine millimeter up first. Baby Desert Eagle, Mr. Bradley Wallace going first. I wonder if I should hold right on it or hold above it. Or... I'd say right on it. <laughs> High right. Got it. Bradley got it in three, now Ethan's up. Ethan's got the Smith and Wesson MP40. He's gonna go for it. Bradley took three shots. It took Mr. Ethan four shots with his MMP. Bradley, three with the DE, baby DE. Let's see what Mr. Guns and Chicken Strips can do with the Kimber. Hit it? Miss. Three! Three shots! Me and Bradley are tied. Let's go for round number two. Bradley and Mr. Guns and Chicken Strips are tied. Took three shots on the first one. Ethan eliminated. Dunsky. Ethan's dead, but a big X on him. We're gonna let Bradley go first. 50 yards, baby Desert Eagle. Five. Five shots with the baby Desert Eagle. Now let's see what Mr. Guns and Chicken Strips can do with that Kimba 45. Oh. 
One shot kill! <laughs> so, grand champion guns and chicken trips of the long range shot. All right, let's move on to event number two. So Mercer Bradley here surprised me. He's got this old school double action, double, sorry, double barrel hammer, uh, double trigger coach gun, 12 gauge. These days, if you ever shot them, they kick like a mule, solid metal back, nothing but force into your shoulder. And he's, he's agreed to do a slow-mo shot of both barrels so let's go for it here you go Bradley so all three of us as you saw shot this thing and now since I got hit in the titty with the ricochet both my titties hurt this thing is coach guns man they're just the sweet so now we're gonna move on to the competition another move on in the competition to a speed and accuracy portion to where I don't know if you can see it we got five cans of shaving cream set up down there Bradley's is gonna be on the left Mr. Ethan's on the right. They gotta both start at the same time and shoot. For this one, then this one, then whoever shoots that one first wins. Put in the comments who do you think is gonna win out of those two, and the winner of those two faces moi, the champion of the long distance round. Round number one, speed and accuracy. Three, two, one, go. Bradley's one down. Bradley's got one down. Oh, Bradley's got a jam. Ethan's got a big lead. E oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Photo finish. Nice. The photo finish the on the last round. I'm out too. That was a good one. That was a good one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that came down to the wire between Ethan and Bradley. That was nice. I'm not going to lie. That was cool. Now, who's going to win versus me? Let's see. And I'm going to be shooting with a 1911. So I'm going to have only seven rounds per magazine to do this. But I'll have four magazines, so I ain't worried about it. <laughs> We're gonna re reset up the area for round number two. We've got the championship round, speed and accuracy. Mr. Guns and Chicken Strips versus Mr. Bradley. Put in the comments who you think we're gonna win. Who you think's gonna win? All right, let's do this. You call it off, Mr. Ethan. All right. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> well, Bradley got me. I couldn't get it on. The rush got to me, plus he's just an awesome shot. This dude, impressive, took me down. But- 4B way, baby. <laughs> he might have, he won the speed and accuracy. I won the distance. We still got a loser over there named Ethan that hasn't won anything, so. I'll give it to him. You got me, good game. Baby good desert's game. where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> I let I let the I let the pressure get to me, man. I just started fire. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish that one off. You see I got it covered in dirt. <laughs> oh my genius didn't even turn oh, the GoPro man. on. I went through two mags. 
So now we're gonna move on to the distance and accuracy portion of the day. We got Bradley, which is the champion of the speed and accuracy. We got myself, which is the champion of the distance shot. Now we're gonna go for who is the accuracy and distance champion. If you can see, we got a shaving cream can about 50 yards down there, right there. You can see it on the GoPro right there. So let's go ahead and go. We're gonna let the winner of the last competition go first, Mr. Bradley. Yeah, how many shots it takes. Do you think you're gonna win, Mr. Bradley? Definitely, I'm feeling confident. He feels, he feels confident. I feel confident I'm gonna win. <laughs> let's see if we can get Mr. Ethan here on a W instead of the two double L's he's got. We'll Two double L's do not make a W, Ethan. All right, Mr. Bradley, give it your best shot. Number of shots it takes to hit the can at 50 yards. Two? Two. Two, really? Two. This is what we got to deal with. Now we're going to let Mr. Ethan try at it. We'll see if he can do it. Two shots is going to be difficult for anyone. So let's see. What are your thoughts, Ethan? It's going to take one. One shot? One, one kill? Shot. Right. Let's one see shot. it. We're going to set one up. Oh, yeah. We got to set one up. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we have a can set up, Ethan's gonna go for it. And he, two shots. So let's see what Ethan can do. Oh, you got the cat, that counts. <laughs> so now, brochachos, my turn. Bradley's got two shots. Ethan, me, I'm, I gotta get it one or two to tie Mr. Bradley. Cross your fingers for me. I can accept defeat. I think mine was just pure luck. Honestly. Pure luck. Yeah, it was. Because little did y'all know, that was the second time, and he took <laughs> five shots the first time. No, not really. But, yeah. He won. Fair and square. High five. I Yay! High five. <laughs> this portion of the episode, we're going to show, due to the recent protesters everywhere, just in case you need, you know, some anti-protester devices, something I recommend you carry on with, with you, beanbag rounds. So we're going to act like this steel target right here is a protester standing in front of your jacked up truck on the highway. And you're like, come on, bro, get out of the way. And they're like, no. I have rights. And they're like, okay. You just pull out your handy coach gun that you're always carrying with you at all times, of course. And this is what you do. Get out of the way of my truck, bro. Check it out, we're gonna shoot this super slow-mo testing out the camera with the 12 gauge coach gun. It's getting a little dark for shooting out of here. So we're gonna go ahead and pack it up for the day. Go get us some delicious Tex-Mex. Man, that was some good Tex-Mexican food, man. Nothing, I didn't take y'all with me because last, last time we were down here, we went to the same restaurant. So I didn't think y'all wanted to see the same Tex-Mex food again. So didn't take y'all in there with me. Now we are headed home and there's nothing better, man, than just cruising on these back, back road, Texas country roads. I love it. So just, just cruising. But yeah, those dudes are good dudes. Can't believe Bradley took me down. Like I said, I never claimed to be an amazing shot. I'm a decent shot with a pistol. Of course, practice, practice makes perfect. 
Oh, there is no such thing as perfect. Bradley took me down. Not surprising. That guy's good, man. He's out here shooting all the time. He hunts on the daily. Yeah, those are good guys, man. Really appreciate them letting me come out and shoot on their land. It's a lot of fun just hanging out there, relaxing, shooting. Back to the old grindstone this week at work. We're actually kind of looking forward to work this week for some reason. But remember, always be safe. Do not shoot steel from up close. Even if you have it deflected on carriage bolts, everybody knows that. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow, big chickens.